Mr. Timothy uh, TE simulator can be composed of the laptop, a phantom and a probe and a keyboard uh, which resembles the keyboard of a real echo machine with the knobs and uh, trackball and all the buttons typical for uh, ultrasound imaging. The laptop can be replaced with the um, PC. Here is the screen of the simulator uh, with the model which is individual for each patient. And as you can see, we have uh, plenty of different pathologies here. And for each pathology, we have uh, uh, individual uh, 3D model that you can see on this uh, right hand side uh, panel here. Uh, let's uh, just uh, try to do some scanning of the mitral valve here. And uh, here you see this is the zero degree four chamber view. I can of course adjust the depth. Uh, I uh, previously adjusted also the retroflex uh, angulation of the uh, tip of the probe. And uh, now I, I can uh, move to uh, intercommissural view, which is uh, in this case about 56 degrees I hope yeah and then I can switch to explain and I can show you the long axis view at the same time um, when scanning the mitral valve it is very important to understand the on axis images that can then uh, help understand the pathology and also um, be very useful during the structural heart intervention so for example here I marked with the red and uh, yellow colors the planes of the intercommissural view and the long axis view. And uh, I can also connect those markers with the lines, the red line and the yellow one. And uh, then I can switch to uh, 3D view, which is uh, available here with the lines uh, superimposed on the mitral leaflets. You can see also the aortic valve. You can play with this 3D data set as normally we do during the real uh, echo examination. We can also switch to color mode. So either in the uh, single plane imaging like I do here uh, or in the um, biplane or x-plane imaging, I can uh, show the um, mitral regurgitation in this case, for example. And I can also switch to the 3D mode and show this a jet of the uh, functional mitral regurgitation uh, in 3D space, both on the, uh, from the left atrial side and the left ventricular side. You can also appreciate some anatomical details, like for example, little clefts between the uh, P1, P2 and P2, P3. So uh, it gives you uh, lots of reality when looking at the anatomical structures.